Here we are, right? Uh, there's our data definitions. There's our templates. Okay, I want to write occurs in and occurs in loss. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take my template and I'm going to copy it. Okay. And I'm going to uncomment it. Go uncomment. Uncomment. And I'm going to take Okay, and I am going to take the template for my loss fund and I'm going to copy it down here and for the for my using it for the real definition and again I am going to uncomment it uncomment uncomment okay so Let's write. If my sauce is a string, how do I tell if the string occurs in sauce? Right. Yeah. If the sauce I have is the string I'm looking for, then the answer is true. Otherwise, the answer is false. Otherwise, well, if, if, my, if my sauce is really a loss, then I'll call the loss fun. I'll call the loss fun on the sauce to see if the string is in the sauce. So I'm going to say occurs in loss. Sauce. String. So let's take a look at my loss. If my loss is empty, what's the answer? Okay. Otherwise, what do I do? Well, the first of the loss is a sauce, so I call the sauce fun on the first of the loss. Right. So the sauce fun is occurs in. Right, and to process the rest of the loss, what will I do? I'll call the loss fund. So I'll call occurs in loss. Rest of the loss. String. Okay, and how am I going to combine the answers? Or. Close, close, close. Okay, so now let's read what we got. Okay, occurs in sauce. If the sauce is a string, we do a string equals to see if the sauce you have is the string you want. Otherwise, the sauce is really a loss, so we call the loss fun on the sauce to determine if the string occurs in the sauce. If, the, if I have a loss, we ask, is the loss empty? If so, the answer is false. Otherwise, we call the sauce fun on the first of the loss, because the first of the loss is a sauce, so we call the sauce fun on the first of the loss. And then we also call, we also have to find the answer for the rest of the loss. The rest of the loss is, so we, is a loss, so we call the loss fun on the rest of the loss. And then, of course, we or them together. And let's see. Okay. Oh, I've already got my test set up here. Let's try that. Let's run it. Oh, okay, missing. All right, so we've got some parenthesis problems here. So let's just use Racket. Racket is very smart about closing parentheses. All I do is hit right paren, and it figures out 
whether there is, should be a right paren or a right bracket. See, there's the right bracket that appeared. I hit paren, and it, sh and it printed, and it uh, typed a bracket. There's another. Okay, good. So now we should be good. Okay, good. So the test that we had passed.